What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, Wealth Hacker Labs. I am your gracious host, Jeff Rose, and it's a beautiful weekend. And just want to give you some updates going into this Memorial Day weekend on what's going on with the economic stimulus checks. Probably the most common question I'm still getting just because there was so much information about this on the web, on YouTube, was what about this $2,000 monthly stimulus package? Like what's going on with that? You know, we've heard about the CARES Act, we've heard about this HEROES Act, but there's still like a lot of discussion just because there are a lot of videos that are still out there, including from myself, that we're talking about this second stimulus plan that was going to offer a $2,000 upfront payment and even some that were proposing a $2,000 per month $2,000 per month. Wow, that's a lot of money. So what this was called, this was actually called the Emergency Money for the People Act. And this was uh, brought on by representatives Ro Khanna and Tim Ryan. And they're the ones that originally had proposed this, this package, this, you know, this secondary stimulus package. And according to a good buddy of mine, Jim Wang, who wrote this article for Forbes, you know, he talks about how like, which this is what just basically what happened. Like it was a, a bill. It was put out there as a potential option. And unfortunately, this thing is, as they say, dead on arrival. Like this thing does not exist anymore. Had a lot of uh, people were very excited about it. And there were other options like, or not options, but other similar packages. You had the, like the Mortgage Debt Cancellation Act. And there's some other ones out there. Even Bernie Sanders had his own act. But right now, if you are still waiting on this package, if you're waiting to hear more about it, well, there's nothing more to hear. Like this thing is done. This thing is no longer even a possibility. Not saying it can't be a possibility later on. I don't know when later on would be 2021, but it's definitely not happening anytime soon. The only thing that's currently happening right now is the sec, well, just another second stimulus package proposal and that's what is called the HEROES Act. So the HEROES Act is very similar to the CARES Act, you know, where we had a $1,200 stimulus payment per individual. There were some people that weren't included. You had uh, those that didn't have a tax ID number. You had those, uh, well, not minors, but uh, individuals that were 16 and above being claimed as dependents by their, their families, their parents, you know, they didn't qualify. So we had like college students that didn't get money, even though they were working, supporting themselves. And that was some of the big updates with the HEROES Act. So with the HEROES Act, what we're looking at is once again, it's another $1,200 payment. Uh, they're probably the biggest change here is that in not only do individuals get the $1,200 payment, but also if you have young children, if you had dependents, they could also qualify for a $1,200 payment as well. So you had a family of say five, you could get up to $6,000. Now that is a, a one-time payment. Uh, that is not a reoccurring payment. There is no uh, reoccurring payments coming from that one. It's just, just like what we're seeing with the CARES Act. You know, you get a one-time payment and that is it. But the, the I guess the most concerning thing is why one of the concerning things is why this thing hasn't passed yet. And just to kind of give you some updates on timeline there is right now we're going to the Memorial Day weekend. You know, this thing, the HEROES Act did pass through the House of Representatives, but we still have to go to the Senate, which is already predicted to, to not pass there just because it's mostly brought on by Democrats. Republicans have their say. But one of the big hangouts right now is the unemployment benefits uh, that are, include, are included with the HEROES Act. The initial act, the CARES Act, had an unemployment package. Right now, people were getting you know, an extended $600 a month up until the end of July. But the way the thing is written is that it's, you know, it's, it's gonna end in, at the end of July. So this additional $600 a month that people have been getting, that have, you know, it's been helpful for a lot of people, it's gonna end. Now, the HEROES Act is supposed to, in, uh, to extend that. And that's supposed to be extended until the end of uh, January 2021, which is you know, awesome for a lot of people that have you know been laid off, that uh, maybe got uh, just you know, lost their job, been downsized, maybe they're they're wherever they're employed, that they exist anymore. Maybe they shut down, had to file for bankruptcy. But the big hangup right now is that 
if they're going to extend this unemployment benefit for this extended period of time, you know, what is going to be the incentive for those that are unemployed to start looking for work? And that's just what this article kind of breaks down. And there's a lot of uh, articles that are talking about this, just saying that, uh, I don't have like a direct quote here, but, you know, basically just saying, you know, if, here we go, if a, if a person is making $23 an hour on unemployment, it's gonna be hard to get you back to work for a $17 per hour job. Now, you might hear that, it might make you angry, it might make you frustrated, you know, that, that they wouldn't extend this because yes, there's a lot of people out there that aren't going to take advantage of unemployment, that they're going to, you know, they want to work, they want to, you know, they don't want to just sit at home all day and, you know, collect a check. They actually want to go out and, and do something and be productive and help out and give back and all that and all that. But, you know, I will say going back to the 2008 financial crisis, I, I mean, I'm sure you've seen them, right? We have our friends, we have our neighbors, we have our family members that they don't want to leave the couch. They don't want to leave the house. They do just want to sit back and click a check and Netflix and chill and just do absolutely nothing. So just trying to find a fair balance of like, man, if we're going to extend this out, then there has to be some stipulations. There has to be some just additional language that's going to not just give people uh, free checks. Now, obviously, there's so many people that need this and would benefit from this, but there are also that percentage of the population that are going to milk this for all it's worth. So right now, like that's one of the biggest hangups right now. One of the biggest holdups is this is because of it's just are we going to have another package? I mean, the CARES Act was already tons of money, tons of money. And now, you know, with this new HEROES Act, we're looking at a three trillion, three, excuse me, three trillion dollar package. And that's just like in its current form. So but that being said, you know, here's some notes, some comments from the Trump administration on the likelihood of a, another relief package coming out. And even Trump went on to say, you know, I think we're going to be helping people out and getting some more money for them uh, as tens of millions of Americans lose paychecks and business struggles to, to survive with public health restrictions. He didn't say all that, but, you know, he did say, I think we're going to be helping people out and getting some money for them. So, I mean, call it what you will, you know, I, I think the man does have a heart. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but, you know, recognize that people are struggling, right? So that's that's coming from the man Trump himself. You know, so he also has uh, Steve Mnuchin, uh, Treasury Secretary, and this is what uh, Steve Mnuchin had to say. You know, it says, I quote, I think there is a strong likelihood we will need another bill. So, you know, he's even uh, saying this. You know, he goes on to say, you know, we're going to step, take a step back for a few weeks and think very carefully. We need to spend more money and how we're going to do that. Uh, just talking about, you know, hey, this is a $2.2 trillion stimulus package. The House passed, you know, the $3 million uh, was the, uh, the HEROES Act. So there's obviously a lot of money floating out there. Uh, there's a lot of still waiting. And there's a previous video I did where I just talked about some of the data that's coming back from the first act the carriers act and how the stimulus checks were being spent and where what industries that money was being uh being spent on and now we're getting some data so they're just going to kind of go back and see all right what do we what do we need to change you know what do we need to update if we do a another stimulus check now here's also a very interesting thing now i don't know if if for those that have received their checks for those that you know, either be a direct deposit or uh, waiting on your paper check, and I guess you wouldn't have received it, but there have been several instances where, you know, the way that the hero, excuse me, the way that the CARES Act was written, it protected protected Americans from you know the just banks and other debt collectors from garnishing those wages, but what it didn't do was protect from private debt collectors. And so there were instances, um, and I'll, I'll include this article in the description so you can see some of the instances where uh, that some, some of these private debt collectors were able to garnish these stimulus checks. And that was not how the, the bill was intended to be, to, to take care, I guess, of the debt collectors. I mean, this was money, you have to assume that somebody was struggling, uh, paying some of their bills, you know, just, uh, struggling, to stay afloat 
and then coronavirus hits and now they're waiting on their stimulus check to come and it gets garnished because they can't pay their bills. Well, yes, I mean, it's just, it just makes it. So how's that person now to, to even try to stay afloat, try to maintain, you know, the their mortgage, their rent, their groceries, their electricity bill, all that and so forth. So basically what happened is that a, another bill was just recently introduced and this was a bipartisan proposal. Uh, and this was brought on by senators Sherrod Brown, and uh, he's a ranking member of the U.S. Senate Committee. Read that right here. And actually, may make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. There we go. Uh, and also Chairman Chuck Grossley. And so basically, all these people, right? And this is what they. This is what this bill says. It says during this public health crisis, we must come together to protect our collective health, ensure that workers have the tools they need to rebuild and recover from the economic fallout of this crisis. And they, you know, came together, passed the CARES Act, so on and so forth. But, you know, basically it's like, you know, we're helping to work families pay for food, medicine, and other basic necessities. It's not for debt collectors. Our bill will protect these funds and ensure working families will receive the help that they need. And I didn't actually see if this had a bill had a name, but essentially what's happening is that if a second stimulus package is presented, you know, this is one of the things that they are pushing to be included so that future stimulus checks do not get garnished. Now, unfortunately, what I didn't see anywhere on this bill is what about those that were supposed to get their checks that didn't because it was garnished. I didn't see anything that had, uh, that this would be retroactive. Their language saying that, hey, you, hey bank or hey private debt collector, you need to give that money back. So I, unfortunately, I didn't see anything included in this bill for that. So oh, uh, for if that did happen to you, man, I'm just, you know, my heart goes out to you. I hope that you've been able to contact your rep state representatives, you know, contact the, your politicians and just let them know what happened. And I know that in this Forbes article where it talked about this, uh, there was a case where it, it was it made it made the headlines. You know, I'm telling you, like, this is a time that private debt collectors, big banks, they don't want to make headlines for this type of stuff. So if you ruffle some feathers, make some noise, use social media to your advantage just to make sure that you get the check that you need to support your family, to take care of your loved ones, you know, fight for what is yours. And that would be my closing advice for you. All right, y'all. So that's all I have right now for this check, uh, economic stimulus check update. If, uh, if I don't talk to you until after Memorial Day, I hope you have a good holiday. Spend some time with your family. Enjoy some weather if you got it. And also a reminder that it's your money. It's your life. And all you can make it awesome. Until next time. Peace.